If you're watching this video on the Ness YouTube channel, there's more information and useful links in the description below. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all to this session, which is a short introduction to the Professional Development Award in Technology Enabled Care at SCQF Level 7. My name is Pamela Dimberline and I'm a specialist lead for digital health and care at NHS Education for Scotland and I work in the digitally enabled workforce team. I've worked in public sector health and social care for 32 years and the last 15 of them specifically leading on the use of technology enabled care to help improve access to health and social care services and information. I led the NHS qualification design team in collaboration with the Scottish Qualifications Authority, working with partners from health, social care, housing and academia, which you can see in this slide, to develop the Professional Development Award in Technology Enabled Care. I also support a programme of work to increase the uptake of the PDA, helping equip you, the health and care workforce, with the skills to promote the use of technology across services and organisations, empowering you to feel confident about adopting technology as part of business as usual healthcare delivery, so that you, the workforce, can help support people to self-manage and live more independently in a digital world. Today at this session, I will be talking about the programme to increase the uptake of the PDA and about a supported funding opportunity for staff to undertake the qualification. PDA in Tech SCQF Level 7, which is equivalent to an advanced higher or an HNC academic qualification, is made up of two higher national or HN unit credits. You need to complete one mandatory unit and one optional unit to be awarded the full PDA qualification, which would give you 16 credit points at the Scottish Credit and Qualification Framework or SCQF Level 7. The full award has been allocated a notional length of 80 hours to complete, 40 hours for each unit, with a suggested maximum three month time frame for completion to encourage learner momentum. However, the award can be achieved sooner if you wish. In this slide, I've noted the various units that make up the group award. This slide is really for information only, so you can refer to it later. However, I've highlighted the last optional unit, which is using digital to support people in health, housing and care, as I'm going to talk about this specific unit later in the session. In this slide, I've noted the learning outcomes for the mandatory unit, which is working with technology enabled care. There's a lot of information on this slide, which again, I'm not going to go into as we have a limited amount of time, but I've included this in the slide deck so you have the information you can refer to later if you wish. In this slide, I've done the same thing I've noted the learning outcomes for the optional unit, which is using digital to support people in health, housing and care. Again, this is just so that you have the information so you can refer back to at a later date. But I am going to talk a little bit more about this unit in further in the presentation. So. The qualification has been designed to be delivered as an online programme of mainly self-directed study with support from assessors. There's an initial mandatory induction that you must attend where you become familiar with the award and the e-learning platform used to submit your assessments. For the mandatory unit, there will be an online group exercise and requirements for the optional unit are discussed at the induction. Much of the work will be gained through your own experiences and from doing research to build up the evidence for your professional development and for your assessment submissions. This qualification is suitable for, st for staff who are new to or have an interest in technology enabled care or who may already be working in this area but want to further develop and advance their knowledge and skills in this ever-changing area of health and care service delivery. 
as part of the formal launch of the PDA, this financial year, NHS Education for Scotland has funded 30 staff from across health, housing, social care, um, and including NHS 24 to undertake the PDA in tech. This was done in partnership with Bon Accord Support Services, who are an SQA approved delivery centre who have a proven track record in delivering PDAs. We had over 100 candidates apply from across public, private and third sector organisations. The qualification has been very well received and I've added a few quotes from candidates from the initial cohorts, which have since finished um, and we're in the process of evaluating. Um, just so you can get a wee flavour of what um, people have been saying about the, the PDA. We plan to evaluate at the end of each co cohort, ensuring that we continually improve the learner experience for people who um, participate in the learning programme. I suppose this is more of the exciting bit, really. So you've heard a little bit more about the, the, the PDA in tech. There's opportunities to, to find out more about the PDA in tech in some of the materials that we can share with you. But now this exciting bit. So at the start of the session, I mentioned an opportunity to undertake the PDA in tech. And I'm really delighted because I want to share this news with you that NES, once again, NES will be funding further candidates to undertake the PDA in tech over the next financial year. So this time we have funding for 56 candidates over three cohorts and they will be starting in June and October of 2022. And we have a third cohort starting in January 2023. The application process opens this Monday, so that's Monday the 7th of March, and the application window will be open for a four week period until the 4th of April. So if you're interested in applying or you know someone in your team or your organisation who may wish to apply for a fully funded place, please share this information um, with them. We've put a couple of links up there where you can find out more. Um, the materials are hosted on Touras. I know somebody's already commented about, uh, they've learned a lot more about Touras this week. So um, that's where we're hosting the material um, and the application form for uh, the, the funded place. And I've also included an email there where you can get in touch with the team if you um, want to ask any questions. Further on in the presentation, I've also included my own contact information. So if you'd like to get in touch with me direct, I'm happy to to chat with you um, about the PDA. Whenever I do a presentation, I always like to finish with a quote, a quote that inspires me, um, which I hope inspires others. Now, these quotes often well, I'd say probably 99% of the time have something to do with space exploration because it is an interest of mine and today is no different. So this time um, the quote is from Sally Ride. She was the first American woman in space. And I really like this quote because she's talking about learning and how learning has been a key part to her success um, and how it inspires her on her um, in, in all that she does. So I picked this as being apt because I really hope it inspires you um, in your learning journey. And I just want to say thank you very much for uh, giving me this time to talk to you about the, the PDA. So I have provided contact information here. So you'll get my contact information and the Digital Enabled Workforce team. So if you'd like to know more about the PDA or also other areas of work um, that we are working on around building digital skills and leadership across Scotland's health and social care workforce. So you can get in touch with myself or the team to find out more. I just want to say thank you everyone for attending and I hope some of you might be interested in applying for this qualification. It would be great to see some applicants um, from healthcare support workers.